Well, welcome to part two of refrigerant charging, calibration, and pre and temperature measuring instruments. Here we have a liquid refrigerant charging. So, liquid refrigerant charging of a system is normally accomplished in a liquid line, and this is when a system is out of refrigerant, and the liquid refrigerant can be stopped or can be charged into the king valve and on the liquid line or the receiver and the system has a vacuum and it can be evacuated and this allows the refrigerant to enter this system and it allows it to flow and this flow has nearly stopped and upon entering this system the liquid refrigerant has to move toward the evaporator and condenser coils so, and this system is being charged while no refrigerant is inside of it. And the liquid refrigerant moves toward the evaporator and condenser. And no liquid refrigerant will be able to enter into the compressor. And here we have the king valve, which helps perform a number of services that include the taking pressure readings on the high side. If, if the system and trap... Well, on the high side of the system, trap and trapping all of the system refrigerant in the eva in the receiver, and the king valves in the past were used as a, as safety valves on ammonia and sulfur sulfur dioxide systems, and they they were located outside of the mechanical equipment rooms, and that is it. I'll see you all in the next video.